Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a um, a review slash first impression of the Urban Decay Pulp Fiction palette. And it looks like this. Or well, the packaging looks like this. And I'm also going to be doing a review on some soap that I was sent recently by a company on Etsy. So if you are interested in hearing about those, then keep on watching. Okay, so first I'm going to be talking about the soap that I was sent. And no, I am not sponsored. I wasn't paid to say this. And I would never ever lie or give a false opinion about things on my channel. Because I would not want to sell to you something that I wouldn't want my own family or friends to try. So, anything I'm about to say is 100% true and is 100% my actual opinion. Oh, and ignore, like, the lines on my hands. I've been playing with makeup all day. Okay. First things first, the shop is called Southern Boys Soap. And they are based out of Utah, but they really like the South and like to incorporate that in their brand. And ooh, I just got a text message, but I won't let that interrupt. Anyway, the name of the shop is um, Etsy.com slash shop slash clean boys soap, I believe. If that's not it, then I will link it right here, or I will link it in the description so that you can click on it. They sent me this soap, and it just looks like this. It's just... Basically, it's just a white bar of soap, but they also sent a more, like, kind of a muffin shape one as well, but I've already used it, and it's in my shower right now. Anyway, this is the pink uh, Himalayan sea salt soap, and it's supposed to be exfoliating, but I will tell you it's not very exfoliating. But it is, however, very, very moisturizing. And I will look up the ingredients right now because I'm not quite sure what's in it, but it's amazing. The ingredients are... Okay, so I found the ingredients. I just now looked up the link. By the way, I told you the wrong link earlier. The link is etsy.com slash shop slash mountain boys soap which I thought it was Southern Boy Soap, but I think they've since changed their name. Anyway, the ingredients to the soap that I received is olive oil, water, coconut oil, sodium hydroxide, shea butter, pink Himalayan sea salt, and the blood of our enemies. Just kidding, but doesn't that feel good? See, so not only is it like a really good brand, but they're pretty funny too. And I really like that. And they also included a personalized handwritten thank you note whenever they sent it. So I really appreciated that and I love how close they are to their customers. And since they're getting started, I don't think they have very many. And so they're wanting to branch out and reach all different types of people. But it's very, very, very moisturizing. If you've ever tried Lush products, it's very, very similar. It's very creamy. It lathers up really, really well. Um, and the best part about it, are you ready for this, is how cheap it is. I, this soap, I was sent for free, obviously, but I have since bought some more myself. The cheapest that I've seen it on there, I think is a dollar, but I think it goes up to maybe three dollars at the most, and I got it when there was free shipping, but I think shipping right now is a dollar. So it's very, very cheap very very good and it is very comparable to Lush. They don't really have many variety like they don't have much variety on there right now but they do have two different kinds on there that I've seen which is the pink Himalayan sea salt soap and they also have another kind called cowboy coffee soap and they target mainly men obviously because it's southern boys soap but um it's perfect for women too. I mean, it doesn't have a, a masculine scent. There's nothing really masculine about it, except that it's odor neutralizing, which means it doesn't really have a scent of its own. It mostly just rids 
um, unwanted scents. But it's very, very good. Um, I would give you like a little, like a tutorial, but I don't want to sit here and wash my hands on camera for you. But it's very good, very moisturizing. Like I said, it's not very much, it's not very exfoliating, but it is very, very good soap. I haven't tried the coffee one, like I mentioned earlier, but, um, yeah, I think that one must be pretty good too, because this one is amazing, and I would not steer you wrong on that. So if you're interested in that or you want to check it out, I'll leave the link down below and maybe I can hook you guys up with a discount code. I'm not sure. If I am able to, I will leave that in the description as well. So be on the lookout for that. Oh, and I forgot to mention, um, since using this soap, my skin has been so soft. Usually when I get out of the shower and I kind of like towel dry, um, my skin, I don't know if this happens to you guys, and this might be kind of gross, but my skin kind of rubs off. I know that's really disgusting, and you probably never want to wash me again, but since using the soap, my skin does not do that. I don't even have to apply lotion after a shower anymore. I mean, it's, it's that good. And I honestly think that you could probably use it, use it on your face if you wanted, and it would not be harmful whatsoever. I don't think it would break you out. It doesn't cause my skin to be rashy. And usually after I shave my legs and then I use body wash, I kind of get irritated or get little bumps. But this does not irritate my skin. doesn't give me rashes. doesn't cause any redness. So it's great. Now moving on to the next thing that I'm going to tell you about is the Urban Decay Pulp Fiction Palette. And it came in this box right here. Looks like that. And then it has this on the back. And it comes with the colors Righteous, Tyranny, Vengeance, and Furious Anger. Which, if you have heard the famous uh, quote from Ezekiel in that movie, then you'll understand why the colors are named this. So, you open that and this is the actual palette itself it has the quote right here and then on the back it just says be cool honey bunny which I thought was cute I don't really like the way it opens because it I don't know I just don't like that but you open it here's a big mirror that I'm gonna let you look at um and these are the colors yeah they're super cute I already swatch them on my hands. Um, one is like a matte kind of brown. It reminds me of Buck from the Naked palette or Naked 2 palette, which is that color right there. Doesn't that look like a Buck? It totally does. Um, Righteous is kind of a cream matte color. Vengeance reminds me of Dark Horse in one of the naked palettes. Um, it really does look like your typical, like, neutral palette, but it's great. I absolutely love it. And it comes with this little brush here that I can get you It comes with this little brush. And I guess one's a blending in and one is not a blending in. Yeah, I'll swatch the colors for you so you can see. Oh, this is going to be Tyranny. Let's put that right there. Vengeance. Righteous. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I didn't swatch them too much. Focus, camera, focus. Anyway, they're very pigmented. Absolutely love it. I have not used this palette yet because I just got it today, but I can already tell you I'm going to be using it probably every single day. Because if you look at my eyeshadow now, um, I'm all about some neutrals. Right now I just have on half baked. Um, dark Horse and Smog. And I think this is perfect for any eye color. 
They give you these colors because it's supposed to be what Miss Mia Wallace wore in the movie. And it also in includes this thing right here. It tells you how to get her look, but I have not done that yet. And here's some more things from the collection. And they also sent me a sample of these. I think they're blushes. Oh no, it's a bronzer, highlighter, and a blush. They sent me that as a sample. Yeah, the first first look, first glance part of this. I think it's so cute, perfect for any Pulp Fiction fan just to have. Um, I was kind of debating whether or not I wanted it because there's only five eyeshadows and I thought, you know, I have all three of the Naked palettes so do I really need this one? But it was on sale for $16 and yeah, I thought why not? It's perfect. And I love it even more than I thought I would. Because it looks so simple, but really, I mean, you can make, there's so many looks you can come up with using this. So if you're interested in seeing any tutorials with this, then definitely let me know and I'll be happy to do that. Or if you, I don't know, want me to just talk about it even more, then let me know and I'll make another video separately. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you about it? I don't know, it's, I think it's great, and it comes with this huge mirror, like I said, I don't want to show you my whole entire bathroom, but, good size mirror, and it's magnetized, so you don't have to worry about it, like, flipping open in your bag, I think it's perfect for travel, yeah, I think it's all around the perfect palette, I will probably use this more than I do my naked palettes. Um, let's see. Oh, and I, my boyfriend got that for me off of Urban Decay, but it is $16, with shipping, it's, shipping is $8, so it was like $25 altogether. We went to Ulta, the shipping was just the same, so I would probably recommend just getting it on Urban Decay, um, just because you get a sample of their other products if you haven't tried them, or just pick it up in your store. Alright, um, I guess that is it for this review, first look at these products. If you're interested in them, please let me know, or if you own them, please let me know what you think about them, if you have any other questions or comments or anything else you want me to review, or if you want me to record a tutorial, I will gladly do that. And don't forget to check out that soap company, because I promise you, it is definitely worth checking out with that price and that good of a product. I mean, you can't go wrong. Um, Alright. Oh, and for those of you wondering what makeup I'm wearing, like I said, I am wearing half-baked on my eyelids. I'm wearing smog in the outer corner with a little bit of dark force, and I don't have a highlight. I'm wearing the MAC Moisture Mineralized Moisture Foundation, Margin Blush, Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish, St. Germain lipstick and just some falsies that I got online and MAC mascara and MAC um, black track gel eyeliner. As you can see, I really love MAC. Alright, um, that is it for this video. If you have any more suggestions or comments, let me know. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Logan Wyndham. Follow me on Twitter at Logan Wyndham. And, uh, Look me up on Pinterest. I'm on there too. Oh, and my jewelry are these earrings. My Hello Kitty earring. Um, my bow is just this one. And then this is my top. Looks like that. I'm not sure the brand, but I will look at it and then link it in the description for you too. Because sometimes I'm curious about people's clothes and videos in case I want them. Alright, that's it for this video. See you guys later.